Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordy and I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for Aquarius. We're using the This Might Hurt Tarot deck today. Let's see what's going on for the Aquarius Collective. Uh, thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support. So on the split we have the Judgment card reversed and the Four of Wands. So usually when the Judgment card is reversed it talks about uh, an evaluation or re-evaluation. Haven't, haven't quite gotten to a, a final judgment on something. And it comes down to family, home, and your long-term goals with the Four of Wands here. So you could be reevaluating something really close to your heart. A relationship dynamic. Something's been going through a trial period. Or has been gone through a lot of trials and tribulations. We have the Page of Pentacles reversed and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Um, this can talk about something that's not being given or uh, which and what's not being given could be an apology or compassion or focus, attention, friendship, kind, gentle energy that might be lacking in a dynamic. So we have the Ten of Wands and the Six of Pentacles reversed. We have the Ten of Pentacles reversed as well, and the Page of Pentacles back again. And we have the Fool card in the past. In the future is the Tower reversed, and representing you as the Queen of Cups. We have the Six of Cups in your environment and the Knight of Pentacles as your fears and desires. It's reversed and the Magician card reversed. Okay. We have the Nine of Wands underneath the bottom of the deck. Usually when the Nine of Wands is reversed, I see it as like extreme burnout or uh, mental, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual exhaustion, um, fed up with something, don't know what to do about something, and uh, then we look at the major arcana, we have the magician reverse, the fool, and the tower reverse, so sometimes the magician reverse talks about like Somebody who's not doing the right thing or saying the right thing or it can be a manipulative energy sometimes, but it doesn't have to be that. It's more so next to the Knight of Pentacles and the Fool card, someone who keeps um, going about a new beginning in a wrong way. They're spinning their tires in the mud with this Knight of Pentacles reversed. They're digging themselves deeper in a hole. And you may be watching this and you have an open heart, like you're trying to be compassionate and open-hearted in this situation. Almost looks like you're watching television in this bowl of water. And um, this may even be a little bit entertaining to you, but um, it could have to do with family, siblings, children, the Six of Cups. It definitely has to do with the past, memories, um, a long-standing pattern or belief with the Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Six of Cups. Um, it's like how somebody has shown up in your life has um, has been that way for quite a long time and that might be where your expectations are not going to be met in this dynamic Pisces because 
maybe you're hoping that somebody's going to do something different than what they're they've been doing the entire time um We have the Ten of Wands reversed, and we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed, with the Six of Pentacles reversed in between. So there's some type of um, draining or loss or lack that is happening, whether it's like spending money or spending time and energy. Um, and it's gotten to the point where you have to put it down. And it could have to do with family or business or finances or partnership. And it's all about emotionally recharging right now for you at this time. Um, how can you emotionally recharge? I feel like you're trying to sincerely turn a new page in a new chapter in this dynamic that we're describing for you. Um, you believe in new possibilities, even with an individual that might be repeating old patterns. Essentially, it's going to take your sincerity and your kindness with the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups here to change things. And um, to patch things up. It's like somebody's digging themselves into a hole and you're carrying the responsibility here with the Ten of Wands carrying a big pile of wood. Like you have the resources basically with the Ten of Wands. Maybe it's emotional resources, maybe it's compassion. Like those, those, that bundle of wood that you're carrying here in this card can be used to put underneath of the tires of the, of this motorcycle that's stuck in the mud. So that they can finally get out of that position. And. Yeah. I'm just seeing that you're looking at past behavior. And you're seeing them as a little bit foolish. With this fool card here. Young, naive, next to the page of pentacles. And even if they've grown up and matured a little bit since then. They are still acting the same way. So the tower card is reversed in the future with the magician reversed in the outcome position. So the outcome of this situation is somebody doesn't have the uh, mindset to, you know, break down what is limiting them and how this affects you. They've reached a blockage. And maybe it's because they're burnt out as well. So um, I would say the advice in this reading is to exercise extra compassion in this dynamic. Um, and lend a hand even though this person is doing something they've done before. How does this benefit you? Well, it looks like they're connected to your family or a long-term relationship or basically connected to your household. And um, that benefits you um, financially or even energetically to see them in a better position. So after you, after you see them through to this better position, I can see that you will be rewarded with, with, with kindness in return, with appreciation, with love. And I think that's what really matters, is that that love connection gets restored. Maybe apologies will happen then. Maybe offerings of love can happen then. All right, well, that's what I've got for your reading. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you again soon.